Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to the next episode of The 100 Season 5. Last episode that we watched was Sleeping Giants, and that referred to the prisoners on the ship that was floating above Earth, and they were cryogenically frozen criminals, which, because of the various turns of events, Bellamy and that had used them as leverage to free Clark, because I think they, Murphy and Raven stayed back on the ship, even though there was no escape pod, but they said there was an escape pod um, but there wasn't. So they're on the ship holding the kind of prisoners in the sleep hostage to free Clark. And I think that's exactly what happened. It's been a while since I watched it. Uh, but I'm excited to see kind of how that all transpires. Because obviously there's no escape pod on the ship. So that could be really emotional or really scary when it comes to how they're going to get away from that situation. Maybe they'll use the ship that's on the ground to fly back up to the ones that the prisoners came down in to kind of get them, hopefully. Maybe the prisoner's going to get woken up at some point. But it was also really good to see Bellamy and Clark finally seeing each other again after six years. Um, he came striding out of that van. She was on the floor with the, the shot collar around the neck um, because they thought she was lying about something, but she actually wasn't. She was telling them the truth. Um, so that was really cool. This episode is called Pandora's Box. So I'm wondering whether we're finally going to get the bunker opened, like opening Pandora's box to see what's inside. Maybe they're going to finally open the bunker and see what, whatever hellscape is down there. Obviously, we know how bad things have gotten. Maybe we're going to spend more time in the bunker. It'd be good to see here, like, another episode in there. And, like, obviously, later down the season, maybe they'll meet up. I don't know. Uh, but I'm excited to see. Again, more than anything else, why Kane is one of the people in the fighting in the ring. Obviously, he was part of the team before all this happened, and then we saw the slow decline, or well, actually the very quick decline, so to speak, of the community in the bunker, and how that quickly went from trying to survive together, to fighting, to killing, to this um, kind of like gladiator sort of thing, so I'm excited to see if that's what this is a reference to, and hope it is, because I want some more Octavia, some more One Crew, if you're not One Crew, you're against One Crew, or whatever it was she said in in the first episode. Let's see what this episode is all about. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know down below in the comments what you thought of the episode. Subscribe to my channel for the rest of Series 5 of the 100. And there's a Patreon link in the description box if you want to watch the full length reaction to this episode as well as a couple more in advance. Let's jump into Season 5, Episode 4 of the 100. I was going to say Sleeping Giants. Uh, Pandora's Box. Sorry if that introduction was a bit of a mess. I am very full of spaghetti right now. So I'm a bit like, ooh, sleepy. But I want to watch this episode, so... Let's go. Okay, we're in the bunker. Good. Good. Come on, Kane. I feel a bit more attached to Kane because I've been re watching Lost in my spare time. So I'm like, it's Desmond, it's Desmond. <laughs> How did I get this bad, darling? Each of these four combatants have committed crimes against one crew. Oh. They are our enemies. Traitors to our people. Traitors to our code of strength. Unity and honor. What's he but doing? Today, one of you will be given a chance to once again be called brother. She's got this really weird look in her eye. She looks like detached from what's happening, which makes sense because there's a lot of death. Be the last. Which is not normally what Octavia's all about. Not this kind of death anymore. There's two of you left. Miller and Nathan, yay! Kiss, 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 kiss. Okay, I'll be still alive. Tell Octavia it was me. Come on, Kane. Yeah. Oh. I don't like seeing him like this. It's, it's not how he would normally do things, but. This is the world they live in now. In stealing life giving medicine from one crew, you uh, have committed a crime against our people. Yes. But you are the last. Has he earned his freedom, Blood Rainer? Blood Rainer. Don't like that title. Mike Tavia doesn't look so innocent anymore. <laughs> Wish I looked innocent for a long time, but. He fights again tomorrow. Bitch, why? Oh, Tim's like my favourite character. 
And so I'm on board for a darker version of her because some of my favourite characters in a lot of shows <clears throat> have like a dark season or dark period. And I'm not sure how I feel about this. What do you want? We need your help opening a bunker. You're miners, so that shouldn't be a problem for you. So they are going if for you the do bunker. That, I'll let your people go. And then what? Happily ever after? Then we will split this valley down the middle. Whether or not you're happy is on you. But I'd like to think that we could find a way that's to gonna last. <laughs> it's never gonna happen, let's be honest. Threatening to kill two hundred. Only times we tried to meet make uh, her start a friendship. Coalitions and stuff Do with we have uh, a deal or not. The thirteen clans and whatnot. Oh. You're really here. It's just nice to see a moment of happiness. <laughs> you don't get it much in this show. You're all still alive. Murphy, Monty, Raven. Echo and Amori. Fark, you saved us all. Yeah. And now you're... It's weird to think like she doesn't have... She didn't have that knowledge for six years. She did the thing with the tower, with no idea if that worked Wait. or not. Why'd she release me? Or if it worked in time to save them. We made a deal. It's the woman from the captain's log. Colonel Charmaine Dioza. Charmaine she was Dioza. A Navy SEAL. It was decorated for valor three times. Charmaine Dioza. Charmaine Dioza. Charmaine Dioza. Charmaine Dioza. War hero ended up leading a mutiny on board a prison ship. You got a question. She became a terrorist. Bombing campaign. Oh god. If anyone does anything that wasn't agreed upon, you pull the plug. And if you don't hear from me every hour on the hour, you pull the, pull plug. the plug. Is that all? No. That's not all. Someone wants to say hello. Oh. Raven. Murphy. That's really good to hear your voice then. Clark? Oh. I don't believe it. Jeez, and they call me the cockroach. <laughs> There's a doctor in that bunker. Clark's mother, it turns out. We grab the doctor, kill the hostage taker and his girlfriend. We go home and find a cure. A cure? You trust me now? Hey, I'm starting to get more of a story of something else. You're the crowd on your side, but you lost them when you showed weakness. I know you didn't steal the medicine, Kane. Admit it. Tell me who took it. And I'll let you go. Only the guilty should fight in the arena. We're all guilty. We could have torn ourselves apart during the dark year. One more word about the dark year, and I will put you in the arena even if you tell the truth. The dark year? You know the law. I won't fight. Is that the year after the five year thing? Then you die. You lost your way. Yeah. We all have. We have a chance to do something better here. We're throwing it away. Octavia, please. Strength without mercy is nothing. It's just nothing. feels wrong. <laughs> but you can end it. You can save us. With me. I took the drugs. I, I, I can't function without them. And I, oh, so she isn't well yet. Please don't let him die because of something that I did. He knew you could confess to try to save him. And then she'd give in the fire the and she would have lost. The only way to save you both is for him to win. You have one minute. I think where I'm finding this... Talk to him. ...this storyline so odd. It's because these characters are so different from the ones that we left in season four. I found a Hithalodium gold mine on this asteroid named Proxima Six. Allegis Two was the first mission to mine it, but it failed because they didn't have enough manpower, which is why they switched to prison labor for Allegis Four. So what happened with Three? Exactly. That's the weird part. I can access the database for One, Two, and Four, but Three has an AES 256-bit encryption algorithm. English. Even I can't get it. It feels very sci-fi all of a sudden, like very Star Trek. <laughs> I don't like it. 
don't like it. Come on, Octavia. Getting ready. Justice to become vengeance. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Come on, Where is your survival instincts? Well, I guess maybe this is gonna be a way to get through to her. I hope. Thank God for that, thank God for that. Can you imagine Octavia would have killed Kane? <coughs> Never would have forgiven her. <laughs> oh God. I mean, it's kind of cute that, like, just the sight of him has made him drop a weapon, chop into his arms, brother and sister together again. Oh, she got some explaining to do. <laughs> this wasn't the bunk when she left. <laughs> it's got really scary though, because obviously when they left it, it was just like a normal bunker. Now it's like cages, fire, blood. Octavia, this is Colonel Zielsen. Colonel? Used to be. Love the war paint, by the way. <laughs> okay, so how do we do That's this? That's some time. Exactly how many people should we be prepping for extraction? 1,200. 814. 814, right. <laughs> Copy that. You can see in his eyes, he's like, what the f happened down here? Murphy? Oh, okay. <laughs> you thought this was a good place to take a nap? I'm just afraid I won't be able to pull the plug. I know. Yeah. And that's why I'm going to do it. Murphy, I just wait. He'll probably do it. I so when I stay behind. I mean, most of all, me. I thought maybe yeah. I was doing it to impress Amore, but the more I think about it. I mean, why do you always have to be the one to sacrifice? <laughs> See, he's anyway, oh, oh. Down to it. deep, deep, I got deep this. down. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hi, Mom. I'd be like, uh, I don't like this at all. She looks so different. She looks older. I don't mean like the actress looks older, but I mean like the character looks. She's been through some shit in the past six years. Hey, beautiful. Kiss. Kiss. And then you. the other one can join in. What's his name? <laughs> ben. Ben. Ben can join in. Tell me about the fighting pen. How did that happen? Because it looks to me like someone read over it a few too many. Six years is a long time. I've changed. Got a lot to talk about, huh? We do. Just not right now. I don't trust these people, Belle. You see? Snug as criminally insane bugs in her medically sealed rugs. 
God, he's so pretty though. I should need to stop talking about it. What? We still got access to the docking bay doors? Open them all. Gotta kill him. Not our people. We find our friends in Smart. Hey, smart. Opening docking bay doors. <laughs> What's happening? Uh oh. Oh yeah. Where have you to do it? Fine, I'll do it myself. Wait, 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 wait. I'll do it. What? I'm not ready to die. Are you? It's done. Good job. Unless they get into it. Ready to fly. What is it, Shaw? Talk to me. They're waking up. They're opening up. The, uh... They open the pods. Colonel, if we don't close the out of bay doors right now, your people are gonna die too. You mean our people, don't you, Lieutenant? Also smart. Oh no. Oh god. This, this can't be good. Sucks. Uh. The time will come. Just don't do anything stupid. Let's go. Where's my doctor? She had the robot cane. Today we have to keep you out of sight until everyone is safe. Oh, Stay here. Oh, it's that weird gun thing they've got. Sorry about your pretty thumb. Raven, come in. You read me? Oh no. The deal's off. But nobody has to get hurt. Hold your fire. Where's your mother? She's our doctor. You can't have her. I'm right here. This is tense. <gasps> Abby. Mom, what are you doing? I love you, Clark. Bye again. <laughs> Six years. Don't keep it so long next time. Oh, you tit. Holy shit, bug. Kill him as well. By my count, there are less than 1,500 people left in the human race. I'm not going to ask you again, Lieutenant. This is a mistake. <gasps> I'm so tense. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh. What's taking so long? What is it? You know, it's jammed. Your friend Raven? Yeah. Has to be. Everybody strap in. Main rocket burn in three, two. I mean, fair. I'd have shot him as well. I trusted you. This is your fault. Oh, shush. Blood Rainer. I feel what he means, and it's a doctor, but. Now, we go to war. I don't like this version of a. <laughs> scares me. Okay, guys, that was my reaction to The 100, Season 5, Episode 4, Pandora's Box. I think that was the first episode where I'm really like, okay, I'm invested in this season now. The first couple episodes were good, especially the one in the bunker was really interesting. Um, but I feel like because there's so many new characters and new plot lines and trying to figure out... Because it didn't just pick off, obviously, the right from the end of the series uh, for exactly that. We had, obviously, big time jumps and what happened in the missing time and... There's this dark gear and all what happened on the bunker, what happened up in space, what happened on Earth. Um, it took me a little while to kind of get to grips with who was who, what was going on, whose relationships have changed and whatnot. So now that we're all together, 
sort of, or we've all started to intermingle, all the plot lines are starting to cross over, I feel like, right, okay, I'm on board, I'm up to speed, minus still that, that the dark year that they talked about, but I, I think is going to mean, I presume, when it got to the five-year mark, when it was going to open the door to the bunker, but that door didn't open, maybe that was the dark year after that, you know, when things got really bad. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm now invested, I'm like, okay, I'm on, I'm in, let's go with this war between all these different people, and it's really interesting, and all the dynamics are really cool. So going back to the bunker, I feel really weird when it comes to, like, Octavia, I mean, Blood Rain is cool, right, she looks badass, it's great look, like I said, the red on the face is really striking, and she looks hardened, and in charge, more than, like, she obviously wasn't a leader before, that's not who she wanted to be, that's not who she was, and it feels like she's become that, but not necessarily a good leader, I mean, she's led a lot of people do, I mean, that guy sacrificed themselves, they jumped in front of her, and they do follow her, and so in that way, she's a good leader, because she's got people that follow her, but how she leads, I don't, like, like, like I don't like these blood sports, this cage fighting sort of thing, it, I get that's like ground is it very much like you fight to the death in these honourable matches and we've had this before, like with um that one that Alexa was in with Rowan. I think Rowan wasn't yeah, she speared the woman. I mean, I get it, it's like part of their life now. But it just feels wrong from coming from one of our characters, because our characters have always kind of seen that that was a bad way to do things. I don't know if what I'm saying makes any sense. I just don't like seeing Octavia as Blood Rainer because it feels like she's gone down a really dark path that we've tried over the four seasons to keep her away from. And yes, she's become a fighter. Yes, she's become a killer. Yes, she's become a uh, sky ripper and all that kind of stuff. But this just feels too much. <laughs> and I don't like it. And I don't know if I don't like it because I'm not meant to like it or I just I don't agree with the storyline. I don't like how it's gone. I'm not sure. I'm going to wait and see how it plays out. Because it did have some really nice moments, like when she saw Bellamy, that Blood Rainer facade just dropped, and she dropped the weapon, she jumped into his arms, and got emotional. And that shows that Octavia is still in there. But Blood Rain is obviously still a big thing, and... Oh, I guess it's because they're really playing with your emotions, because they're putting someone like Kane, who is like a up-and-down character that hated him, loved him, didn't like him, loved him again. But putting someone in there that you care about shows how far she's gone and then it's gone from obviously they do it because it's he's done something wrong but we found out that the what he did wrong was to at least in their eyes they stole the medication to save someone but it's their medication so he shouldn't have done that i kind of understand but also he didn't steal it they didn't know that obviously indra knows that and that's the whole thing but to then put him into a cage match to survive and then he he won the match and she's like, no, I'm not good enough. He showed weakness. Yeah, let him fight again. So it's like, Octavia, what are you doing? And then when he didn't fight, she was going to kill him. She was going to kill him. But obviously the the roof got blown off. And that caused her to stop. But if that hadn't happened, she would have killed Kane, who's so undeserving of that. But I guess with those laws, he did steal the medication and whatnot. But it just it's just so far removed from the Octavia that we knew at the end of Series 4, even though she was Sky Ripper, that it was just a different thing, you know, so I'm, I'm struggling to get on board with it. I understand it as a story arc, before I get comments that I, I don't understand why I don't understand it, blah, blah, blah. I understand why it's happened and where it's come from. I just don't know right now if I like the storyline. I'm just going to wait and see how it pans out before I kind of make any sort of, like, rush decisions, but... I do like the look of of Blood Ripper, Blood uh, Blood Rainer, <laughs> Blood Ripper. Uh, up on the ship. All the stuff with Raven and Murphy was interesting. It is nice to see them com uh, communicating, being quote unquote friendly, but also bickering, but being friends and playing football, but bickering, and how they disagree, but then they help each other out. It's they have a really weird dynamic that I like, and I find it very interesting to watch because they kind of play off each other really well but also rub each other up the wrong way, which is why I think they could be, they could just be best friends in an alternate universe, you know? But they could also be lovers. I could see that panning out. I could see them being enemies. It's one of those relationships where something small can, I could see them changing so often. 
Like they love, they clearly have, they clearly care about each other. Like Murphy said, like the main reason he stayed was because Raven should always have to sacrifice, and so he, he clearly cares about her. But also, we'll give a shit. <laughs> I'm just really curious to see where their relationship goes over the next couple of seasons, how it pans out, where it's gonna go. Because I could see it going multiple ways. I'm, I don't have like a what what it's happened. Like I know at that point I was like, I want them to have sex, but that was just because I'm like they're alone on a spaceship, they're kind of like getting flirty and happy but bickering at each other I'm like release that tension you know um I could I'd be happy if they just stayed friends like but bickering but I don't know I'll have to wait and see how it all pans out because I could just see it going multiple ways but yeah when the all the prisoners started getting out at the end I was like oh god it's going to be I'm interested to see what happens there because they could easily just try and kill them they could try and capture Raven and Murphy Raven and Murphy might have to hide. Raven and Murphy might be in charge. But by the looks of the way they came out that those um, cryogenic things, I don't think they're going to be happy about what's going on. Because there isn't the guards and all that to kind of keep them in check. So they're going to have free run of the ship because there's so many of them. There's, what, 380-something, I believe? Something like that. And I'm also really interested with the dynamics on the, on the ground. So we've got Dioza, McCreary... And I think his name was Shaw. I couldn't really hear very well when they called it. I think he said Shaw. Uh, I still think that he's not one of them because they keep pointing out that he's different. Or there was a line a couple of episodes ago about how he's not one of us. And there was something on this episode where she said up to him and then McCree made a comment about him not being a part of them or something like that. So I feel like maybe, like I said last time, maybe he wasn't one of the prisoners, uh, one of the criminals on the ship. But like I said, all my guesses are always wrong, so... We'll see. Um, but their dynamics are really interesting. How she's the colonel in charge, but McCreary's clearly going to make some sort of move in the future because <clears throat> she let that guy die who shot the big blast gun, whereas I would have killed him because he didn't. He did. He fucked things up. He started a war. Uh, McCreary just shot him and she wasn't happy about it. But there's just that weird dynamic that something's going on and they need the Shaw guy because he has the knowledge to fly the ship and do the technical stuff but they clearly don't respect him very much really weird dynamics and i think it's all going to play into this war that's coming and how maybe they might end up taking each other out trying to take power but then they've got a fight against like octavia on that side of it but then they've got these weird overpowered blast guns and, and they've also got missiles and whatnot on the ship rockets they use it to blow up on, on the bunker and they're going to fire it into the crowd but of the Raven, I'd block that. But they've got all these massive weapons and powerful technology. But we also know from the past that grounders are smart, and that gra- just just because you've only got maybe a gun, maybe a spear, doesn't mean you're gonna lose. You know, they can be feral and sneaky and brutal. So I just think there's so many weird dynamics going on that I'm like I'm really loving it now like, I'm like, like this is the episode where I'm like okay we've all started to interconnect with each other the dynamics are changing uh, we all know that each other's alive other than they haven't, really spoken, they haven't mentioned that Jaha's dead but yeah pff, whatever um, they've kind of all forgotten about him um, uh, but we did learn actually that there's only 800 and something left from the 1200 that was in the bunker so almost 400 got killed off yeah it's just I think my the, the takeaways I got right now from this episode was love the dynamics, really interested to see what happens with the prisoners on the ship, really interested to see how this war pans out. Um, obviously, they need Abby for something, they need her to cure something. So, is someone who's specifically ill, or is it a thing that's amongst all of them? Maybe did they all capture some, get some sort of illness from one of the plants they went to, or are they trying to save one specific person? Uh, we'll have to wait and see how that, what that's about, but that's, that's cool as well. Uh, yeah, and the Blood Rainer stuff, I just don't know. It's cool, but I guess it's when you, when, you, when you have a character that you love that goes down a really dark path, it's really hard to watch. Like when Bellamy was in Pike's crew and helped murder all those people that were unarmed, asleep. It was horrible to watch. I'm guessing that this is like Octavia's turn for that kind of storyline. I don't know. I'm just hoping she comes out of it at the other end, uh, realising that this is not okay, you know? 
I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. All my guesses are always wrong, so let's wait and see what happens next time. As always, my name is Scott. I hope you guys are well. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. If you enjoyed the video, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the episode, your thoughts on what happened, your reaction. Did you enjoy my video? And subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you want to watch the full-length reaction to this episode, there's a Patreon link down below. All right, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you all very soon for the next episode of The 100. Bye, guys. Stay safe.